Uh, do you envision some of your virtual outreach efforts continuing when the pandemic is over? I mean, you might have never done this if the pandemic hadn't started, but now you are teaching virtually. You're teaching, like you said, a uh, pay what you can type classes. Are those things that you hope to continue even when the pandemic is over? And sort of what lessons are you taking forward from this? Yes, um, I think so. I, I've also been a part of um, a company called the Broadway Collective, and we um, there's a ton of my colleagues um, that are in the Broadway community, and we coach students online. So students who are who do not have access to who don't have as big of a theater community as say Durham, Raleigh, or Charlotte, um, they're able to access training from us via. Um, the internet. Um, and they've been doing that for a few years, even pre pandemic. And I think it is so important for, to give access to people who can't necessarily act, have who don't have access to a huge theater community. Um, so I think so. Yes, um, I have built a studio um, here in my house so that I can affect I can effectively um, and impactfully teach virtually without um, and it be quality. Yeah, um, I'm focusing on the quality of it as well. Um, so I, I definitely plan to continue my virtual training for well, sure. Obviously, nothing replaces live theater. Um, we can't wait to get back to that. But obviously, the, you continuing that is great.